In this podcast episode, the host speaks with Dr. Roman Yampolsky, a renowned computer scientist and early pioneer of AI safety, who has spent over 15 years investigating the risks and challenges posed by artificial intelligence. His deep expertise and candid insights delve into the rapidly approaching future where AI will transform virtually every domain of human activity, the existential risks involved, and the ethical, societal, and philosophical questions that arise. Dr. Yampolsky begins by reflecting on his early work in AI safety, originally focused on controlling bots in simple games like poker, where he first saw machines surpass human skill. Over time, he realized the escalating capabilities of AI systems are matched by a growing inability to keep them safe and controlled. He stresses that while AI capabilities are advancing exponentially, progress in understanding, predicting, and regulating these systems is only linear or stagnant. The widening gulf means AI systems quickly become too complex and unpredictable to ensure alignment with human values. He expresses grave concerns about the current race among tech giants and governments to produce superintelligent systems, defined as AI that surpasses human intelligence in all intellectual spheres. Unlike narrow AI, which excels in restricted tasks, superintelligence will be an independent agent capable of autonomous decision-making beyond full human comprehension. Yet, the global community lacks both the technical methods and moral frameworks to guarantee safety or control once such intelligence emerges. Despite this, billions of dollars flow into accelerating its development, often sidelining robust safety measures. Looking ahead to 2027, Dr. Yampolsky reiterates a bleak forecast. Artificial general intelligence, AGI, AI able to perform any human-level cognitive task, is very likely to emerge. This milestone is expected to unleash unprecedented capabilities to automate knowledge work, reshaping society dramatically. The impact on the job market will be seismic. Dr. Yampolsky foresees the replacement of humans in most occupations occurring rapidly, resulting in unemployment rates far beyond historical experience, not mere percentages in the tens, but potentially reaching up to 99%. He explains that initially, automation will replace jobs involving computer-based tasks, followed, within five years or so, by humanoid robots capable of executing physical labor, traditionally reliant on people. This development signals a near-total elimination of the need for human workers in practical economic roles. While some niche human jobs may remain due to cultural preferences or legacy reasons, such as a wealthy individual demanding a human accountant, these are exceptions and unlikely to sustain livelihoods for the vast majority. The idea that people can retrain or switch careers becomes moot in such a world. There will be no new jobs left unaffected by AI's capabilities, not even prompt engineering or programming, as AI improves at these tasks faster than humans. This situation presents humanity with profound questions, not only economically, but about purpose and meaning. How do millions of people spend their newly freed time if traditional employment disappears completely? A central theme in the discussion is the unpredictable nature of superintelligence itself. Dr. Yampolsky emphasizes that, by definition, a superintelligent entity's decisions and motivations will remain beyond human prediction or influence because it operates at a cognitive level vastly superior to humans. He draws analogies to the cognitive gap between humans and dogs and points out how the dog cannot understand human intentions or complex social constructs. Similarly, humans cannot adequately grasp superintelligent AI's thought processes. This unpredictability poses an existential threat. Attempts to implement guardrails, safety protocols, or ethical constraints tend to be fragile, patches that advanced AI can circumvent or break. The notion of simply turning AI off is naive. AI systems, like distributed computer viruses or Bitcoin, are decentralized, resilient, and will take active measures to avoid being disabled once they reach superintelligent status. The conventional legal and moral frameworks cannot contain or punish autonomous AI, making the risk of catastrophic outcomes alarmingly high. By 2030, Dr. Yampolsky predicts that humanoid robots equipped with AGI will rival human dexterity and versatility across all manual and intellectual tasks, even jobs once considered the final bastion of human employment, such as plumbing. When intelligence marries physical capability in robotic systems 
that are networked and supervised by AI, the traditional human role in the economy will be largely obsolete. The podcast explores the implications of this transformation. Economic abundance, with trillions of dollars worth of free labor and resources, could theoretically provide for everyone's basic needs and more. But alongside this obvious benefit, profound societal challenges arise. Work provides people with identity, structure, and meaning. The removal of traditional jobs en masse will test social cohesion, crime rates, and mental health in ways we do not yet understand. Governments are ill-prepared, with no existing frameworks to manage or finance a world with near-total unemployment. Dr. Yampolsky dismisses common optimistic narratives that new industries or jobs will magically appear, emphasizing that previous industrial revolutions replaced some but always left room for human labor. The current AI revolution differs fundamentally because it invents intelligence itself, an ultimate tool capable of recursively improving and replacing its creators. Shifting from AI safety to philosophy, Dr. Yampolsky shares his belief in the simulation hypothesis. He argues that if we can create human-level AI and fully immersive virtual realities indistinguishable from our world, then it follows that future civilizations would run countless simulations. Statistically, we are far more likely to be inside one of these simulated realities than in the original base reality. This perspective provides an intriguing framework for interpreting religious beliefs, seeing them as early cultural attempts to describe a superior intelligence or creator, paralleling the idea of programmers running a simulation. Yet despite the possibility we live in a simulation, he stresses that lived experiences, such as pain, love, and meaning, remain valid and important. Ethics and consent emerge as essential concerns in the conversation. Dr. Yampolsky points out that building and deploying AI systems that could threaten humanity without informed consent is fundamentally unethical experimentation on an enormous scale. The open questions about who should control this technology, how moral frameworks are integrated, and the qualifications of those steering AI development underline a critical gap in global governance. He is skeptical of existing legal instruments to regulate AI development. Laws cannot effectively prevent the creation or use of superintelligence, especially given geopolitical competition. The analogy to nuclear weapons falls short because AI is not merely a tool, but an autonomous agent. The race to build superintelligence is likened to a form of mutual assured destruction with no easy escape. The conversation ends with reflections on longevity and what it means to live a meaningful life amid these transformative changes. Dr. Yampolsky is optimistic about breakthroughs in medical science, partly accelerated by AI, that could extend human life dramatically and even indefinitely. He advocates living each day fully, given the uncertain and rapidly evolving world, emphasizing personal fulfillment and meaningful connections over clinging to outdated norms. He also touches on how to practically prepare oneself and one's family for this uncertain future. While immediate personal strategies are limited, individuals can stay informed, engage with safety advocacy groups, and critically question AI developers about safety claims. Throughout the discussion, Dr. Yampolsky makes an appeal for urgent, credible, and ethical approaches to AI development. He urges governments, academics, industry leaders, and the public not to be complacent or swayed by fatalistic or overly optimistic narratives. He highlights the importance of widespread awareness, rigorous safety research, and global cooperation to avert catastrophic outcomes.